mission she'll have to fly in World War II. What you see here before you is an actual life-size replica of a B-17 bomber. All of the models you see here today were created exclusively for the motion picture Memphis Bell. These represent a stunning achievement on part of our technicians and the show's Academy Award. Proved to be an incredible challenge to recreate the realism, the excitement, and the tension that we felt the film needed. We had to call upon every single special effect and piece of movie magic that so far the cinema's managed to invent. Today you're going to see some of those special effects and that movie magic. I hope it goes some way towards allowing you to enjoy a really terrific day at Warner Movie World. Thank you. Well, now for the turret and turret guns that actually fire. I'm going to fire this baby up now, ladies and gentlemen, but don't you worry, she's only shooting blanks today. Folks, who wouldn't mind having a model like that in their bedroom? Or if that's a bit too big, what about one of these 124th scale models back here? These replicas are so realistic on film, I think you'd have trouble deciding which are the real planes. But to give the film an even more realistic feel, Warner Brothers created this incredible full-size replica, complete in every loving detail. Sir Schmidt Factory in Germany. Do you have your course laid in and plotted, Captain? Then please come on board and commence your pre-flight checklist. Well, these boys are going to take this baby through its paces now, folks and show us the scenic foreground and blue screen effects used to recreate two battles from the famous 25th mission. All right, gentlemen, do you think 30 seconds worth of training is enough to get you through World War II? That's fantastic, Captain. Can I have a thumbs up out the window, please, sir? That's the way to do it. Now, grab your joystick, and I shall activate your cameras. That's our boys up on the big screen there, folks, in living color, safe and snug in the cockpit. All right, gentlemen, how about turning around and waving at the camera back here, please? Okay, I'll tell you what you're seeing up there, folks. Coming up in front of the Memphis Bell, you can see the 1-6 scale replica of the Mother and Country, also featured in the film. As the bell right, uh, breaks formation and rolls across the scenic foreground, in a moment you'll be able to see the 124th scale box, which is the entire squadron at a greater distance from the bell. Coming up now, you can see the blue screen, which we showed you on stage one. We'll be putting that to good uses of our own in just a few moments. But for right now, ladies and gentlemen, watch the screen closely for this effect. That's right, you saw it. We actually blew up a 1-6 scale model just like the Mama's Boys here. With the addition of other special effects, such as clouds, a wind machine, and smoke, we can recreate an incredible combat sequence right here in this studio. Now, let's see what happens when we superimpose this effect on our cockpit. Windy City, she's taking a hit on her port side. She's coming across your nose, boys, so look sharp. Whoa! Bell, you're going into a dive. Pull up, Bell, get the nose in the air. Check her. Put that back in, put it in! <laughs> what do you think, folks? That's what I call a real big that thing. Let's see if the boys make it home safely. On May 17, 1943, the crew of the Memphis Bell completed their 25th and final mission when they returned their plane to England. They were the first American bomber crew to successfully complete the required 25 daylight bombing missions over Germany. Upon completion of this seemingly impossible task, the crew of the Bell were finally allowed to return home. And as you can see, it looks like our pilots made it down in one piece, but they're getting out of there fast. How about a big round of applause, folks, for our guest pilot? Good job, sir. Thank you for joining us. You are intrepid. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here on our third Baby Magic stage. I trust you've enjoyed each and every one of the stages we've seen today, and I hope you have a better idea now how we put that magic in the movies. But there's a lot.